Hello and welcome everyone. In this another part of the tutorial Microsoft Word for beginners. In the previous part of this tutorial, I have explained about the file menu. So all these options are explained under the file menu. Similarly, I have explained about the home menu as well. All these tools, the uses of these tools are explained in the previous part of this series. And in today's video, I am going to talk about the insert menu. Under the insert menu, we can see this part. This is called the ribbon where there are different groups like pages, tables, illustrations, media, links and so on. However, in today's video, I will just cover two groups that is pages and tables and in the upcoming videos of this series i will be explaining about the illustrations media links comments and so on so without any delay let me start with the pages group so under the insert tab we can insert different things in our document according to our requirement according to our need we can insert different items in our document for this we can choose these groups whatever we like to insert today I will show you about the pages groups and tables so let me start with the first group that is the pages so whenever you are going to create the document that is of multiple pages you can insert a cover page to your document let me show you a practical example first of all let's write some random text and create our document suppose we have created our documents whatever we like uh, we have added we have typed or we have completed our document or we are in the process of completing the document and we want a cover page for the document then we can go to the insert menu and just select the cover page option and we can see the different built-in cover pages will appear and according to our need and requirement we can choose any of the cover pages which one you like you can choose you can get more cover pages from the office.com or you can remove the cover page if you don't like so let me use one of the cover pages that is uh, i will choose uh, in dark so when if you want to choose a particular cover page you just need to click on that cover page now you can see the cover page has already added to this document and the cover page is always at the top now you can customize your cover page by adding some of the informations that is related to your document so this is the way you can use to add a cover page in your document so you can customize your cover page you can change the text or you can customize the text you can give some of the subtitles and you can customize according to the informations that is in your document so this is the way you can use a cover page to your document now this will look a little bit more attractive and professional document when you add a cover page to your document so to do that just you need to go to the insert section and choose the cover page from the pages group now let's talk about another option that is the blank page so for that i will clear everything and i will just insert a new blank document to make you clear about the another option that is under the pages group so for that just go to the insert 
and choose the blank page so blank page by the name you can get idea that this option allows us to insert a new blank page while typing the document when the page is full and automatically after pressing the enter we can get a new blank page but if you want to insert a blank page by going to insert menu just go to the insert tab click on this menu and you will get this blank page option just click on this and you will get another blank page you can see it is the second page total of two pages this is the second page that we have added okay now let me explain about the another option that is under the pages group that is page break so page break option allows us to insert a break or it allows us to break the page from anywhere of the page let me make you clear with an example suppose we have written something in our document like this and I just want these two paragraphs I just want these two paragraphs in another page and I want to break the page from here although there are more spaces left in this page and we want these two paragraphs in another page and I want to break the page from here so here you can just add a page break so let me use this option but before that I want some changes in these words that will be a mark so now I just want these two paragraphs in another page and I want to break the page from here so at that time so here you can add or you can insert a page break so let's see what will happen just go to the insert and click on page break where you want to break the page first of all you need to put the cursor over there and just click on the page break so when I click here you can see first three paragraphs are in the first page and the remaining two paragraphs has shifted to another page so page break allows us to control where to start a new page or where to end the new page so page break allows us to break the page from the middle or from any part of the document i hope you have understood about the pages groups that you can add a cover page or you can add a blank page and you can insert page breaks in your document according to your need and requirement now next group is the tables group table is used to insert a table in the document so whenever you want the data to be in the tabular form you can insert a table in your document just you need to go to the table section and just click on this arrow now you can choose the number of columns and the number of rows according to your need and requirement you can select multiple columns or multiple rows this is the one way of inserting tables in your document again go to the tables and just click on the insert table now here you can customize the number of columns and the number of rows by increasing the number of columns as well as the number of rows similarly you can fix the column width you can customize your column width by number or you can let it be the automatic or you can choose auto fit to content you can choose auto fit to window according to your need and requirement you can do the settings and just click on ok now you can see the table has already inserted now you can choose different styles of your tables also from this table style section whatever the style you need you can just choose that styles or you can keep it normal you can do the settings you can choose the theme colors you can choose the background colors or you can choose the number of borders to show you can choose which border you want to show or if you want to create all borders let it be same 
if you want just inside borders select all the columns and you can just customize the tables border and you can insert any items in the table so in the table section this is the way you can use to insert the table in your document similarly you can draw table by yourself like this or like this you can draw the tables in your document according to your requirement so any type of tables you can draw by yourself as well uh, you can delete you can insert you can do all the customizations under the table group similarly from the tables group you can insert an excel spreadsheet also and you can perform all the tasks that can be performed in microsoft excel so excel allows us to insert the numerical data and perform some calculations on those data so if you want to insert an excel tab or excel data in your ms word document you just go to the insert table section and you can insert the excel spreadsheet and you can work just like you are working in an excel spreadsheet like this you can customize your table by working in an excel spreadsheet you can see the table that is in the excel sheet format has been inserted in this document so this is you can do from excel spreadsheet or you can insert the quick tables you can choose the calendar type table or you can choose any other quick tables the different built-in tables are already you do not need to draw the table just select that table and it will be inserted for example in quick tables i can choose the calendar format and you can customize this table according to your need and requirement so you can adjust the tables as you want so this is all about the pages groups and the tables group i hope you have understood how you can insert the cover page blank page and page breaks as well as different formats of tables so for this video this much only in the next part of this series i will be explaining about the other groups that are under the insert menu 